last week. You took out the insane clown posse. My question for you, sir, what next? Why are you here? Why? Why am I here, Scott Hudson? Because I can be. Because I'm the alpha male. Because I'm running things around here. And the clowns, not in my ring. We ain't going chicken hunting. We ain't going chicken hunting. Ain't no chicken hunting going on around here. The only person doing any hunting around here is the alpha male. That's it. The only one. And they want to boo me for beating down some clowns? Half the people out there can't even spell boo. You don't even know how many syllables are in boo. Uh, let me see. Wrong. Let me tell you this, Scott. Last thing I'm going to tell you is this. Before I told you, I tried to be nice. Never again. Now I will be myself. This is my season, and I'm going to act the same way I did when I was breaking necks and beating people down in the league. Tonight, I don't care who you set me up with. I don't care who it is. Bring everybody. The last thing that's going to happen to them, the only thing they're going to remember is pounce. Period. The alpha male is on his way to the ring right now. It's been a Remember what he said last week, I'm a linebacker, the most violent position on the field, and we're seeing that violence translate to professional wrestling with Monty Brown. Look at this, he's a wild man, Shakira doesn't want to get anywhere near this guy. He's grabbed the world. This is the alpha male. This is my hunting ground, and I didn't come here to beat down some bitch giraffe, Don Harris. I did not come here to beat down a little gazelle named Chris Bond. It is not rabbit season. It's not duck season. It's open season on anyone who wants to come down here? Anyone with an earshot of my voice? Come on down and get dominated by the most feared man on this hunting ground. Anybody. Open challenge oh, to Monty I'll Brown. You. Look Anyone. at this guy. He's just, he's possessed by it. He's just, wait a minute, wait a minute. Who's coming oh. down? Sambo coming down the With the alpha male, Monty Brown. Monty, after a couple of weeks back in TNA, you're stepping it up a notch. You're stepping into the ring with Sabu. Stepping into the ring? It's not the ring. It's my hunting ground. Scott, get it right. And if you keep your mouth closed for one second, you might learn something. Firstly, to all you wide-eyed animals sitting around my watering hole, it's not duck season. It's not rabbit season. It's open season. And I'm hunting humans. Secondly, Sabu, it's time for you. You want to talk about competition? It's not about competition, Scott. It's about the alpha male. You want to talk about competition? I wouldn't care who it is. I wouldn't care if it's your mother. We can walk her down on her little walker, put her in the ring. If she stands up and gets into a defensive position, you know what? Bam! Pounce! Homicidal. Suicidal. Genocidal. You don't even know what any of those words are. And neither the 90% of the people out there. But I do, Sabu. You're nothing more than caribou to the alpha male. And when you wander aimlessly onto my hunting grounds, and you bend down and begin to feed, and you look up and think you heard something, it's too late because the alpha male is already stalking you. And the last thing that you will ever hear, and the last thing, Sabu, that you will ever feel, is the pounce, period. That one's going down right now. Monty Brown and Sabu. You think the alpha male played games with you? Huh? You think this is the game? You step onto my honey grounds, and the same thing's gonna happen that happened to you tonight. You will be grabbed by the jugular, shaking loose, 
and not playing, not dying on my hunting grounds. This is not a warning taboo. This is a promise from the alpha male. You want to create your own rules? Extreme rules? Fine. There are no rules on my hunting grounds. This is survival of the fittest taboo. And the next time you do that pose, and that is the last <laughs> Rumor Mill has it that in TNA we got to do a bunch of brown nosing to get something done around here. You know what brown nosing is? That's when I got to stick my nose. Whoa, whoa, right. whoa. Hey. No. Money Brown? You cut that out. I hear you three hyenas up in there cackling, but who dare mention the name of the alpha male, Monty Brown? Nobody mentioned the name Monty Brown. This guy's paranoid. Nobody mentioned your name? You want to mention my name? Huh? Well, let's hear it. Alpha male. Ooh. Say it again. Say it again. Huh? The alpha male. Ooh, say it again. You three hyenas. Fitz Russo. Yes, you. All I hear out here is a lot of cackling about names and titles. Fitz, I already have a name and I have a title. The name is the name of the alpha male. And that's my title. And I defend it constantly. Well, that, that he's done. And he's I'm at the top of the food chain while you three hyenas are at the bottom. Whoa, 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 whoa. Let's put the brakes on that trash right now, leopard skin. You see, you had your shot. You had your shot downtown, Money Brown, in the National Football League. And you fumbled, didn't you, Frank O'Hara? You fumbled the ball. So now, what makes you think you've got the cojones to stand up here and get a shot at the NWA Heavyweight Championship? Because who in the heck did you beat anyway? Firstly, King Jizzle. I'll tell you who I've beaten after I get something straight to you, idiot. I play defense. I didn't fumble the ball. I caused fumble. I separated bodies from mine, heads from helmets. And I'm doing the same thing here. This is my hunting ground. And I don't care who you put in here, what will they get? The pow! Period. And if you want to talk about getting beat, I'd rather show you than tell you. Monty Brown calling out B.G. James right here, and they're on! They've got it on, it's Conan! Oh, the two return to TNA back in March, and quite honestly, Monty Brown, the former NFL linebacker with the New England Patriots and Buffalo Bills, has been unstoppable and undefeated. He confronted Vince Russo and Free Life Crew last Wednesday. Things got physical. Tonight, the big game hunter, Monty Brown, looks to add another trophy to his case. B.G. James is the man in his crosshairs, and he wants the microphone. Cut that crap off! Firstly, for all you wide-eyed animals out there, it's not rabbit season, and it's not dog season. It's open season on those three hyenas out there. And the more I look at B.G. Brian James, I think you might be a giraffe with those spindly little legs. So why don't you bring your little giraffe self out here? And get the pounds! Guys, I'm backstage with Monty Brown and Monty. I, I know that you're going to have your eye tonight on that deadly draw. Monty? We are here live 
at the bottom of the food chain with the Omega male, Scott Hudson. Now take it up to the top of the food chain where the alpha male lives, where the alpha male breathes, and where the alpha male hunts. Scott Hudson, you ask me, Alpha male, will you have your eye on the deadly draw tonight? Yeah, that's right. Will you? Of course I'll have my eye on the... Are you assuming a defensive position, Scott? A defensive? No, no, Monty, no. Are you being aggressive with me, Scott? No, Monty, please, no, please. God, no, Monty, Any no. The act of staring the alpha male in the eyes will be considered an act of aggression. I understand. Please, please, go right ahead, please. Like I said before I was so rudely interrupted, of course I will have my eye on the deadly draw tonight. Why? Why, Scott, you ask? Why? Because it's taking place on my hunting grounds, on my watering hole, in front of all of those wide-eyed animals. So sooner or later, one of you unfaithful little Omega males in that match tonight will have to face the Serengeti Slayer, the Alpha Male. And you'd like to know this, Scott. Tell me, please, Mike. Tonight, after it's all said and done, someone will be the prey. Someone will be the predator. You're looking at the predator by nature, and I will do it soon. And when it's all said and done, they will only draw the pouch. What? Pouch? Huh? Pouch! Period. I don't get paid enough for this. Mike, back to you. Monty Brown, Monty Brown, tonight, tonight could be the most important night in your undefeated comeback in TNA. D'Lo Brown came back and made claim to the World Heavyweight Championship, but I know you've got your eyes on that prize too, sir. Have you been studying, Scott? Your grasp of the obvious is amazing. What's my name? You're, 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 you're the alpha male, Monty. Right, I'm the alpha male. There can only be one, and I am him. D'Lo Brown, you and I are as different as night and day. You, the little itty bitty kitty cat who sits in the house. The alpha male, the ruler of the Serengeti, out on the prowl. Or let me change the vernacular. You, D'Lo. The alpha male! That's right! Scott, D'Lo Brown will get grabbed by the jugular, shaken loose, and he will get the pout! Period! And when I'm done with D'Lo, and I still remain undefeated, I will watch the eight-man gauntlet, and I don't care who wins out of all those little Omega males. They can fight all they want. I am the supreme being. I don't care if it's Ken Shamrock. I wouldn't care. Lion's Den, there's only one lion in that den, and he's the alpha male. I wouldn't care if it's B. Jizzle. I wouldn't care about the truth. This is the truth. You're looking at... Bonnie Brown, I couldn't help but overhear you talk about the NWA World Heavyweight title. Well, from now on, when you talk about the NWA World Heavyweight Champion, you refer to me, the King of the Mountain, Jeff Jarrett. Let's get that straight. Shamrock, tonight in the eight-man gauntlet, I'm gonna send you back to the lion's den where you belong. Truth, three loud crew, you're gonna find out the elite guard is loyal to the King. And Vince Russo, I've said it before and I'll say it again. You will never, ever outsmart me in this game called professional wrestling because I have forgotten more about this business than you'll ever even know. Jeff Jarrett, you may be the king of the mountain, but the alpha male is the ruler of that Serengeti.
We'll find out, Monty. We'll find out. You can't ever climb this mountain. You got to go through D'Lo, and I don't think you can get the job done. Whoa, intensity is going to be defined by the battle of the Browns. With the world heavyweight champion, Jeff Jarrett, champ, the 10-man tag is imminent. And my question to you, sir, is do you think that the king of the mountain and the lion of the octagon can function as tag team partners for the greater good of the elite guard? Hudson, what you're asking is, can me and Ken Shamrock coexist yes. in the match tonight? Yes. Absolutely. I've had all kind of egos, lunatics, and partners in my career, and I have always found one way or another with my intelligence to come out on top. And that's exactly what's going to happen tonight, because tonight, guitar on a pole is my kind of match. And Hudson, I'm going to tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to climb the pole and get the guitar, and I'm coming after you, Dusty Rhodes. And I'll tell you why. Because you, along with the entire organization of TNA, has rolled out the red carpet for Jeff Hardy. And the only person you should be rolling the red carpet out for is me, the king of the mountain. But Jeff, I want to send a little message to you. When you get here next week, I want you to remember one thing. Hulk Hogan tried to come to TNA, but I took him out. Sting stepped into my world. I took him out. Truth, Raven, the list goes on and on and on. So, Hardy, I got a little message for you. And you, Dusty Rhodes, and the entire world, I'm going to remain the king of the mountain until somebody is man enough to knock me off that mountain. Whining on the microphone again, huh, Jeff? Are we having a pity party, Scott? No, money on the You know what, Jeff? Wah, 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 wah. Nobody's listening, Charlie Brown. You want to be tough, Jeff? You think you're tough, Jeff? This is about the alpha male. You don't have to worry about Hulk Hogan, brother. Ow! Or Sting. Or Jeff Hardy. Who you need to be concerned about is the most dominant male on this planet. You smell something there, Monty? You're right, I do. I smell the same fear that I smelled last week, and it permeates your entire being, Jeff. So while you stand there and stare the alpha male in his eyes, I take that as a blatant act of aggression. And now I've got a problem with you. And now you've got something I want. And Jeff, Jarrett, you are one away from me taking it. Monty Brown, I've got a 10-man tag right now. But after that, I would love to finish this conversation. But I want you to remember one thing. Hogan wanted it. Sting wanted it. Truth wanted it. Raven wanted it. But I still have it. Tonight, it's suspended from the pole. Let's take a look at the acoustic. Jeff Hardy is awarded a match for the NWA World Heavyweight Title. Wow! You gotta be kidding! That's what brought him over! Guaranteed a title shot! Make it happen! It's not about money. Fame. Wait a minute. Oh, oh wait a minute. The Alpha Bell. Uh uh. Not tonight, Jeff. Let me tell you something. I'm glad you're here. That's great for the fans. But I don't care where you work, I don't care what you did. What you were, 
you are here in the alpha male's domain, Jeff Hardy. I'm next. I'm glad you found a passion, but the passion is here, and I will be next for the title shot. The alpha male will be next, and I am one pound away from taking the title. Tonight in the career of the alpha male, Monty Brown tonight. Monty Brown squares off with Jeff Hardy to determine who gets a shot at Jeff Jarrett's world title. And Monty, earlier tonight, Jeff Jarrett said it. He paid you a backhanded compliment. Sounded to me like he wants you as the number one contender. He's not as dumb as you look, Scott. You know why Jeff Jarrett wants the alpha male to win tonight? Huh? So Jeff Jarrett can keep doing this. Running from the alpha male. Why would he want to go back to the starting line and start all over again when he's got a good lead now? Jeff Jarrett, I am coming for you as soon as the alpha male finishes with Jeff Hardy. Hardy, I told you before, the Serengeti is a very dangerous place. You should have stayed in North Carolina on your little mini bike. It would have been safer. Or on your half pike with your little boys doing 720s and rail riding. Not in the alpha male's hunting grounds with the most dominant male on the planet. Tonight, Scott, because I'm sick of it. Tonight, I'm teaching lessons tonight. Jeff Jarrett, I will go through everyone here. All shall fall to the alpha male. The carnivore tour 2004 has begun. AJ Styles, Raven, AMW, the list will go on and on. Ron, the truth killing. Ron, you will be killed and mangled by the alpha male. Yeah, you're right. Tonight, Jeff Hardy. You know what? I'm getting sick and tired every time I turn around. You calling my name out. And I'm getting real sick and tired of you coming in on the alpha male interview time, chump. You call yourself teaching lessons? That's right. Won't you teach me a lesson? I'll start with tonight. <laughs> Revenge continues here at the asylum, and we await the announcement from the director of authority, Vince Russo, and the championship committee, alpha male Monty Brown, if I may, sir. How do you think this announcement is going to impact you? How's it going to impact the alpha male? It's going to impact the alpha male immensely, Scott. Vince Russo, I'm very interested to hear what you have to say. And you and the championship committee better say the right things because you are this close to being placed on the alpha male's endangered species list. You know what that is, Scott? That's the alpha male beating the brakes off of Sonny Siaki week in and week out. And for what? Supposed number one contender? Did it happen? No. Stop, 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 stop. Please, 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 please. No, no, no. You know what that is, Scott? That's the alpha male. Grabbing D'Lo Brown by the jugular, shaking that hollow head loose, and then popping his head off. But for what? Did I get the title shot? No. Then Jeff Hardy steps in. The charismatic, the charismatic enigma. Charisma, that doesn't even come off the tongue right. He put his bike up put his skateboard up and comes in here finding his passion for a title shot. That doesn't go over well with the alpha male because while you were doing those things, I was defending my hunting grounds. So now, this is what's going to happen. Everyone, I don't care who it is, I'm sick of people interfering in my interview. Ron Killings, I'm sick of people interfering in my matches. Jeff, King of the Mountain, Jared, 
And now I don't care who it is. It could be you, the announcers. It doesn't matter whoever it is. Mitch is the name, the alpha male, Monty Brown. You will find out why the Serengeti is such a very dangerous place. And you will get the power.